Well, this first proof is especially simple, but simple proofs are definitely the way to start. So we have our three rules over here, and in fact, I think when you're beginning with proofs, a great thing to do every time you sit down to do proofs is just write down all the rules. Knowing the rules is the essence of knowing how to do proofs. And I would even encourage you to consider writing all the rules on the test before you start. Okay, so we've got the proof set up. The argument had one, two, three premises and a conclusion. One, two, three premises and the conclusion set up at the bottom. Justification column, every premise is an assumption. We start by looking at the first line, and we always identify the main connective. It's an ampersand. Well, that tells us what rule to use. We're going to use ampersand out. And every time we see an ampersand, we know that it's just going to break into two separate lines. You take everything in front of the ampersand and put it on one line. Everything after the ampersand goes on the next line. And the justification for both of these are the same thing. We just cite the line number, it's line number one, and the name of the rule, ampersand out. And we use the ditto marks to show that we did it twice. All right, so let's check off that line because we worked in its main connective. Line two. The arrow is also the main connect. Now the arrow is the main connective. That tells us that we're going to do arrow out. Notice if you look at these three rules, there's only one of them that even has an arrow in it. And so clearly, if we're going to apply a rule, it's going to have to be arrow out. When I see the line, I say to myself, if I can find E on another line by itself, then I can write G. There it is. I found E. Therefore, I can write G. And the justification? Well, this involved two lines, 2 and 4. So that's what I'll write, 2 comma 4, arrow out. Of course, we know the order of this, these numbers doesn't matter. If you wrote 4, 2, that would be just as good. I will now check off line 2 because I worked on its connective. Next line, it's another arrow. What do I say? Say it to yourself. If I can find F on another line by itself, then I can write H. Do I find F? Yes, definitely. It's right there on 5. So I get to write H. And the justification? Well, it'll be 3 plus 5. Arrow out. And now I can check off line 3. As I say, incredibly simple proof. We worked on all three of these lines in order. That just happened to be the way it worked in this case. Sometimes you can't work in order. Now, I could just continue down, but I noticed that the four things that are left over, they don't even have connectives. So these are too simple to even think about. And so it must be time to think about building my conclusion. Truth is, you should always have one eye on the conclusion, and this is an ampersand at the bottom. Well, that's exactly what our creative rule is about, building ampersands. Well, to build G and H, obviously you'd have to have a G on one line and H on another. We look up above, yeah, there's a G and an H, so we're done. Call this line 8, and the justification will be 6, comma 7, and the rule ampersand in, and we are done. Simple proof.